Good afternoon, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a neat new review of the Ishin Falcon 210 Pro. Now, in the past, some people might notice I've already done a review of the Ishin Falcon 210. However, that one was the previous version of this, and there was issues with that one in particular. It was very sluggish, especially if you were to, wanted to do punch shots. He had little smaller propellers, I believe, were three and a half inch, three, three to three and a half inch propellers. This one comes with five inch diameter propellers, and I think the idea was to improve the punch of the the quadcopter. On um, the 210, also the original 210, also had on screen display. Unfortunately, this one does not have that. So those are the two big differences I've seen so far. Other than there is design differences in the quadcopter itself so let's go over the quadcopter from the front to the back first off we got a 700 tvl camera um, 40 channels uh fpv transmitter is in the back here there's a little pin that you have to push to change or push sideways to change the different frequencies here um, it, i could not find any information on the actual uh, power of this uh, particular transmitter but i'm guessing it's at least 200 milliwatts um, its advertised range of it is a thousand meters so it's got to be at least 200 milliwatt transmitter to get a thousand meters if that's the case. We have a circular polarized antenna that goes with that. Um, going from the front to the back, we again, we talked about the camera. The motors we got are 2204, I believe, 2300 kV motors with, again, a tri-blade props, five and a half inch tri-blade props. Um, we have 20 amp ESCs. Now, these 20 amp ESCs are just held in place by the wires. There's no actual, um, you know, sticky or anything to hold them in place. So, you know, they are kind of flopping there. So uh, keep that in mind, folks. Uh, the flight control board that I got is a Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight control board. Uh, there's its USB port there. This also comes available in CC3D and NACE32. Um, one thing, though, we got a receiver here, Ishin IA6 receiver. Uh, if you notice it, this is a PWM receiver. It's a nice, big, heavy <laughs> PWM receiver. There wasn't any room to actually install it inside here. So what they did was they just uh, sticky taped it below the arms here. Um, it works. We'll see how well that works here. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of a little bit sloppy, I, I think, putting a receiver like that. But um, other things about it is, if we look at the back here, here's your XT60 power port for the uh, uh, quadcopter. It, when it's normally, it really flops right into the, the prop uh, arc here. Uh, the way I got the get got it to get out of the prop guard or prop arc is, I took some of my wife's hair bands that uh, hair band rubber bands and just strapped it to the video uh, transmitter and FPV antenna and that holds it in place so you got to be very careful because you can't drop this up uh, if you don't do such like similar to what I did same goes with the uh, battery cables um, you want to get them up and out of the way uh, the way I did that was to mount this battery uh, horizontally instead of flat you know I mean actually I guess you'd say vertically in the vertical plane like that instead of flat and that brings the uh, these wires closer to the center line instead of be it out near the arcs of these propellers and finally the video transmitter or the video receiver uh, antennas they were just flopping around here uh, what I needed to do and what you'll need to do is to use zip ties or anything to stiffen them up and keep them out of the plane of the propeller um, I use zip ties from the dollar store along with some um, shrink tubing uh, to hold them and stiffen them up and hopefully that'll keep them out of the plane of the propeller. So that, in effect, is the differences of the new 210. You know, well, other than that, the original 210 had a flat uh, uh, platform for the camera. This platform for the camera is slanted. And also, another thing is, if you look at it here, you can only put the smallest cameras on this. Uh, the only ones that I could think of that would that I've tried that would fit to this were the uh, Mini Mobius and my 808 keychain camera. Any other camera, such as a full-size Mobius or a Run Cam, and God forbid a GoPro, just won't work. You'll be chopping them up here. Um, since I got my DVR recorder though with me today, FPV DVR recorder, I'm not. I'm just going to forego a camera entirely here and record via my recorder. And anything interesting, I'll put it up in the screen here to show any uh, interesting real-time flight video. Uh, for this flight today, what we are going to do, 
I'm going to start off in angle mode, uh, line of sight, uh, do a couple punch shots and a couple zips up and down the road here just to demonstrate it's, you know, out of the box uh, maneuverability with uh, angle mode. And then we'll switch to FPV acro and finish, up, finish it up with FPV acro. And before we do such, let me go over one more thing, important thing here, the transmitter. I got the ready to fly version and it comes with the Isheen i6 uh, transmitter that we see in many other quadcopters. Uh, it is actually a relatively good transmitter. It's just that, uh, again, as with uh, previous versions, <laughs> the aux switches were set to these <laughs> rotating dials for some reason, so I had to go in there and I set switch A to this, and I believe such, let's set switch B to this. And if you go in the clean flight, you will see that this quadcopter did not have any aux switches set up. So I went into the mode switches and I set up switch A to be angle, B, you know, center position to be horizon, and bottom position to be acro. So we'll be flying in angle and then I'll switch to acro. Um, I did not use this switch here. Instead of for arming, I'm just going to use the throttle, bring it down and inboard to arm the motors. So I think that's about it, folks. Let's go right into the flight and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's get it started here. I got all switches up, throttle down, turning on my transmitter, and then plugging in the battery. The battery was already plugged in because I was working on my, uh, let's do that one more time. And that should be binding it. And notice, even with these wire bundles here, or these uh, rubber bands, that thing was coming in the plane of the props. So double check here. Make sure it's out of the plane of the props, the both wires. We should be good there. Okay. I think we are good to go. Again, we're going to start off in angle mode. Fly it around in angle mode first. Try that punch shots. And then switch to FPV. So starting the motors. We're good. Now notice, this starts up. It doesn't start up in idle, which is good. I kind of like that better than the idlers, but let's go up and see how it flies. Bring it around, see how stable it is. Left, right. See a little bit of vibrations in it. And around, forward. Okay, let's bring it in close. Get ready, get ready, punch it. Oh, it's got good punch. <laughs> when I cut off the throttle, notice that. <laughs> so that's the other thing about not having it in idle. If you cut off throttle too much, this one will flip. Let's do that again, another punch. That was a horizontal punch and it worked great. One more for the peanut gallery. The people would love to see those punches. Coming by one more time. Ready, set. It's a good puncher. This has a lot of power, folks. Now let's just fly it around and angle, see how it works. It actually feels okay. A little bit wobbly. A little bit, I've seen a little bit of wiggle, but not too much. Okay. Actually good. But yeah, most people want to fly this in FPV though. So let's put it back down in the pad if I can. <laughs> Close enough, huh? Let me disarm it. And now I'm going to go switch to FPV, folks, and acro. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Okay, let's go into acro and see how it works in FPV. Okay, selecting acro, arming the motors, and up and away. Here we go. Fly it around first, get a feel for it. Yeah. Feels good. Okay, hold on folks, I gotta get a better feel on that. Try it again. How's that feel? How's that feel? Trying the left and right. Yeah, and these a little more. I'm afraid to do rolls with it right now, to tell you the truth, because it feels a little bit uh, wonky, but I'll take it up a little bit higher here. 
This is the Seriously Pro Racing F3 version, folks. I hear that there is a difference in setups, PID setups, between this and, say, like the CC3D and the Naze32 version. This one here seems more set up for gentle flying. <laughs> gentle flying across the, the field here. Particularly uh, rolls here. And pitch. Kind of uh, gentle. But with that in mind, I guess we can really make it go fast. <laughs> I'll take it up a little bit higher and see if I can roll it for about five. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I, I feel better now. Yeah, we can do it. Never mind. Rolls are working fine. Just had to, had to try it first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down here. <laughs> okay. Try it. Oops. Oops. My wife's <laughs> going to go get that for me. Let me disarm it. She'll put it Crash. back up again. Okay. Um, it's in one piece. <laughs> so we know it's crash worthy. I didn't see any much damage to it. I'll get a little bit of dirt back there. Uh, but all in all, well, there you go. Look at that. We got a little bit of floppiness of our ESCs there after that impact. So, you know, you're going to need to zip tie these uh, ESCs in here, folks. But I'm going to continue flying and see how it performs and hopefully it'll still fly so let's give it another shot okay let's see this thing go up again so uh let's see selecting acro again arming the motors hopefully the motors are still working yes they do cool here we go okay i'm gonna be gentle now <laughs> well we'll see how gentle now i want to make a hard turn let's try hard turns uh, try another hard turn the other direction. And that push there. Yeah, it's working. So, you know, the pigs, I guess they're okay out of the box here. They seem okay to me, at least. Others may disagree, but go up a little bit higher again. Oops, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit weak now from the flight. Almost. So I'm going to cool off on the uh, rolls and the maneuvers, hard maneuvers, but we'll just fly it around uh, in FPV. So you can see some flights of, or passes of it. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a 200 milliwatt transmitter on this, based on the ranges I'm getting here, out here in the desert. It's got to be a 200 milliwatt. I'm guessing. We'll go down this road now. Coming down this road. Trying to do low altitude runs. Come up this road here. Now this one doesn't have a buzzer, doesn't have OSD, so I have no idea what my motors or my battery's doing, but it is starting to get a little sluggish here, so I gotta start about thinking about coming back in now. And I am all the way up, there I do. <laughs> There's the battery. <laughs> Did you see where we're going yeah. down, hon? Thanks. Let's go find it. <laughs> Where'd it go down? Okay, we found it. That's why you need an observer, folks. Uh, especially if you've got a quadcopter, don't have a beeper. <laughs> You always should have an observer with you when flying FPV. I recommend it at least. Okay, it's disarmed. Make sure it's disarmed. Uh, I'm plugging those batteries, the battery, and we'll take a look at it after. That was a minor crash, so it shouldn't be too bad. No, it's not. But again, notice how these ESCs are starting to flop around. You definitely should zip tie these to these uh, motor, motor arms. I highly recommend it. But overall, um, yeah, it's a nice little flyer. You know, it does have some issues. You gotta be very careful with these uh, from hitting the, the props, but this does have the power 
Um, it is actually a relatively good flyer with its stock pids. I, I thought it was okay. So, you know, um, it's a low cost. The Ishin Ready to uh, brand is usually low cost. So, um, here you go. You got a ready to flyer, almost ready to fly. It does see, need some minor mods to get it into the air, but it actually wasn't too bad of a flyer once it was in the air. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 with the Ishin Falcon Pro 210. Signing out.